Um, uh, air horn, flashlight, yeah. Yep. Headlamp. Perfect. Rope. Yes. Map. Map. Um, first aid kit and satellite phone. Okay. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Party! Party! Wait, what are you doing? I thought we were having a party. Yes. A search party for my missing cat. Don't you ever, ever, ever leave me like that again. Don't you ever do that. Oh, I was so scared. But you went on a little adventure, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Oh, and this is Giggles. All right, Giggles, we have a show to do. We have a show to do. Uh, so John lost his cat, but now he's found. Yeah, seems like a reason to celebrate. Absolutely. So we're throwing a welcome home Giggles party. <laughs> We have confetti! Woo we have dance tracks! Hit it! We have party games! Woo! Pin the tail on Giggles! Where are you, Giggles? I even made a cake! You did? Absolutely! Three layers? Is there any other? Cream cheese icing? Cream cheese frosting! My favorite! Yes, a very special fancy party cake! Let's eat it! Right now! Yeah! Okay! <laughs> well, go get it. Well, I thought you had it. Why would I have it? This is your house and you made the cake. Right, right. Well, uh, uh, oh, you know what? Maybe it's still in the kitchen. Okay. No, it's nowhere in the kitchen. <laughs> Where's the cake? Where's the cake? We have to find the cake! <laughs> it's not under the table. It's not under the squirrel head. Oh, it's no, oh, it's not behind the door. We still haven't found your fancy cake. No, we still haven't found my special cake. Thing better than cake. Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, how's it going, Kellen? Not bad. 
Oh, I see you found giggles. We did. Well, that's a reason to celebrate. Absolutely. Yeah, but we can't find our cake. You lost the cake? Yeah, and we can't find it anywhere. Hmm, well, I don't think I can help you with that, but can you help me with the Bible story? Sure thing! Great, then let's get ready for another edition of Human Head Puppet Theater. It's for humans. Our story today is from the book of Luke. Jesus was talking to a bunch of tax collectors. Now, tax collectors at the time were known to be dishonest and they'd steal money from people. So, not the most loved people in Jesus' time, but Jesus still spent time with them. There was a group of religious leaders as well that didn't care for Jesus talking to people that they called sinners. Oh, hello, all my fellow tax collector friends. Hey, how's it going? Hey. What's going on? TPS reports. Uh, this is Jesus. He's going to be teaching us. <laughs> Can you believe this, my fellow religious leaders? <laughs> what? what? Is that they? Jesus? Well, exactly. <laughs> Why is Jesus eating with them? Of all people, tax collectors? Blech. So Jesus noticed that the religious leaders seemed angry, so he told them a parable. Now, a parable is a story that has a bigger meaning than just the story itself. So Jesus told them a parable about a shepherd who had 100 sheep. <laughs> oh, look at my beautiful 100 sheep. Yes, I have exactly 100 sheep. <laughs> uh, uh, wait a minute. I, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 again. Oh, I've lost a sheep. <laughs> I've lost a sheep. <laughs> Jesus pointed out that if the shepherd lost just one sheep, he'd leave the other 99 in the open country and go all over looking for that one lost sheep. Little sheepy! Little sheepy, where are you? Oh, 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 cardio. Sheepy! Where are you? Sheepy! Oh, sheepy! Sheep! Sheepy! Sheepy! All right, I'm gonna come over there. Sheepy! Sheepy, where are you? Sheepy! Sheep, sheep, sheep! Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy! sheepy. Oh, 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 <laughs> no one will stop me from finding my one lost sheep. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! Tiger! Ah! Look! My one lost sheep! I found it! Oh, come here, sheep. I'll put you on my shoulders and carry you back to town. <laughs> come here. Come here, sheep. Um, let's, uh, uh, I, I can't really, um, can we just... Ah! Oh! <laughs> there you are. I have joyfully put you on my shoulders. Now, let's go. <laughs> What's that? Oh, <laughs> I know, I love a good sheep joke. Now Jesus told the religious leaders that when the shepherd found his sheep, he would return home and... Hey, hey, I found my lost sheep, friends! Hello, friend, what did you say? I found my lost sheep! Hooray! <laughs> I've got to tell my neighbors. Neighbors! Uh, yes, your neighbors here. Oh, be joyful with me. I found my lost sheep! You found your lost sheep! I'm happy! Woo! Yay! 
<laughs> hey, hey, let's say hooray on three. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three. hooray! <laughs> How long do we, how long do we stay like this? Hey! Okay, sorry. And that's how Jesus' story ends, with the shepherd and his neighbors celebrating that the one lost sheep was found. After the parable, Jesus said, I tell you, it will be the same in heaven. There will be great joy when one sinner turns away from sin. Yes, there will be more joy than for 99 godly people who do not need to turn away from their sins. Remember that this parable was just a story with a bigger meaning. Sometimes we, or someone we know, can be like that lost sheep, and God is like the shepherd. God will always keep looking for us when we're lost. And when we choose to turn to God and put our trust in Jesus, there will be a joyful celebration. And that's incredibly good news. Back to you guys. What a great story. Yeah, you know, it's amazing to think that God cares about each and every one of us. Yeah, and God sent Jesus to save us. It's so true. We can have joy because of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You don't need a special party cake to have joy. Where is that cake? I don't know. Reveal the question. Ah, what does joy mean to you? Well, to me, joy is a lot like happiness, but it's it's so much more. It, it's being able to celebrate all the incredible things God is doing in my life. Yeah, joy, to me, feels like a plunge in a cold mountain stream with the sun shining on my face. And like our story today, joy can be shared with others when something great has happened. Now, how about you? What does joy mean to you? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The, the Zoe Zoe and Zoe Show. What would bring you joy right now, John? Cake. All right, you know what? Let's find it. Yes, come on. All right. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, I just remembered. Earlier, I was thinking I could put the cake in my bad ideas box. Oh, that's a bad idea. Exactly! It was a bad idea! <laughs> I found my lost cake! Be joyful with me! <laughs> Forgot where I put it in my pocket. Let's do that one more time. I had it on the inside of my pocket, which was not helpful. Hey, everybody. I forgot I had my hoodie on. <laughs> yep. I'm less hungry now. Oh, why? No reason. It's so good. Hey, just lick those. Mmm. That was so good. <laughs>